Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. We are not a consignment dealership. We own all of our vehicles. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hanksters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up for both of our stores at all times. We do not take them down. However, when a car is funded in full, it comes down off of our website and goes into our sold inventory, letting you know that the vehicle is no longer available. <clears throat> Today, I have a car that's pretty exciting to present to you guys. Um, this is definitely a car for a true Mopar collector and enthusiast. <clears throat> 1965 Dodge Cornette. And this car is no regular Dodge Cornette. <clears throat> As you can see, it's got the 426 cross ram setup. You're looking at a 505 cubic inch uh, max wedge car. Stealth aluminum heads, Harlan Sharp full needle bearings, custom ground cam. I have a ton of documentation with this car. Uh, 638 horsepower with a dyno sheet. Uh, you'll see later in the presentation the scatter shield. Um, it does have a four inch uh, ratchet shifter. Dana 355 rear end. Uh, the car does run on pump gas. It does have the fender tag present. Gonna close the hood on the car now. The paint's unique, it's like a rose color almost. Um, Hemi hood scoop there. Uh, Dodge Cornet 500 on the driver's side front fender. You can see the five star American racing wheels. The Chrysler Penta star down low. This car is built for speed and I'm telling you what, this car has been set up right. It is very nice. I've already driven it. It's extremely, extremely fast and it has a nice sound to it. Uh, just everything about the car is exceptional. Uh, dual, yeah, dual chrome mirrors. Just had to look for a minute. I thought I had it, but I just had to double check. A window glass all the way around the car is in excellent condition. <clears throat> this is what I would consider a, above a driver quality car. Take a look at the interior on this car. Black vinyl is in absolutely perfect condition. Uh, dash pad, dash itself center console. It is a ratchet shifter in the center, an automatic uh, but a manual shift drive body. We'll show you uh, that later on in the test drive presentation. Take a look at the headliner. It's perfect. The back seats, the vinyl, perfect. Try to push the seat up there. Uh, rear carpeting underneath the floor mats. Just exceptional. Underneath the front floor mats. Exceptional quality to this car. Looking down the sides of uh, not only the driver's side but the passenger side, the car's nice and straight. You can see this huge trunk lid here to the passenger side and driver's side rear fenders. Again, exceptional fitment. Check out that chrome on the rear of the deck lid there. Just, again, exceptional quality. Chrome on the rear bumper is exceptional. Um, this is a true 65,000 mile car. Um, unfortunately, uh, it was in states in the past where no matter what, 10 years and older, they exempt the mileage. Um, it is a true 65,000 mile car. It doesn't say that on the title, but it is a it is a true mileage car. Taking a look uh, just at, you know, again, documentation. Uh, we will uh, still photo this as well. Dyno sheet in there, uh, you know, has different specifications of the 426 motor. Uh, the block itself is from, I'll, May 29th, 19, I think it's 68 or 69. Uh, not a numbers matching motor. Um, again, here's some of the specifications of the car. Runs on pump gas. Uh, 
car was completed July 15th, 2019. So it is a current restoration. This will come with the vehicle. As you can see, a rather large trunk mat underneath the trunk mat in good shape, not rusted, no holes. Spare tire, jack, batteries in the trunk. Again, some cars we have no documentation on and then others we just have extensive documentation. Um, 65 Cornet, facts and features manual. <clears throat> Again, different uh, specifications of the 426 motor. Not sure what this is. Collision estimator. Looks like parts breakdown where they might have ordered some parts for this car. Um, different receipts, manuals. I mean, it's all here. Uh, Willwood brakes. Uh, this, I'm sorry, this car does have line lock on it. Just an exceptional, exceptional car. Again, a fast car and a uh, real true muscle car for that uh, die-hard Mopar collector out there. Coronet 500 logo there on the rear deck lid. Take a look down the passenger side of the car. Again, nice and straight. BFG's on the back. We'll take a look at the uh, passenger side here. Same as the driver's side. The vinyl is of exceptional quality. Um, door panels. The carpeting, the armrest, everything in the car is really, really, really high end. Check out the gauges in the center there mounted right above the B&M ratchet shifter. Truly exceptional car. Coronet 500 badging there on the passenger side front fender. BFG's on the front as well chrome on the front bumper is just as nice as the rear bumper got a 1965 Chrysler tag down there at the bottom down low to represent the year of the car chrome wiper blades chrome wiper arms this car you know we get a lot of cars uh, through here a month buying and selling uh, muscle cars this is probably one of the top 10 that we've had here in 2020 um, Please call on this one. Don't hesitate. This is a, a beautiful car. When you talk about a classic car that's been done right, this car is the one. Um, we're going to take it out on the rack and show you guys the undercarriage. And after that, we'll do the fun part, which is drive this monster. It's a great car, a great driver. Um, I can't think of one negative to say about this car. So let's take it out on the rack and put it in the air. Okay, we're underneath our 1965 Dodge Hemi Coronet 500 and you have front disc brakes. We took you some still photos of the casting number on the uh, Max Wedge motor. The frame rails on the car are in excellent condition. You're going to see the dual exhaust heading back off of the exhaust manifolds and you'll see some uh, cutouts. I'll show you the controls for that later. Uh, as we mentioned, the scatter shield that's above the bell housing. Floor pans on the car look to be in excellent condition. Again, there's your cutouts for the exhaust. There is a switch in there to operate those. Uh, your drive shaft loop there. This car has not been raced, but it's definitely set up for racing. There is uh, leaf springs in the back. Dual mufflers here, Dynamax in the rear. Going to drop out the rear uh, bumper there. Drum brakes in the rear. Rear end's nice and dry. Has your chrome, uh, chrome rear end cap there. Huge gas tank, appears to be new. Again, this car's a recent restoration as we stated earlier. Check out the huge drop downs on the rear quarters up there. Those are both in great shape. Again, I can't stress to you enough how many cars we put through um, this showroom per year. Uh, not to mention our PA showroom. We look at a lot of cars and sell a lot of cars. And this car is definitely one that's of exceptional quality uh, and condition. It runs great, looks great, drives great. Um, 
structurally sound, mechanically sound, just a great, great car. This one will not last long. Uh, it's of the upper uh, quality standards that we get through our showroom. I'm going to lower it down just a little bit and show you guys a couple more things before we take it on the road. But before I do so, please remember that I and we, me, Gary and I, you know, we encourage all of our buyers to come in person. Don't just take our word for it. We try to do our best to represent our cars as accurately and as honestly as we possibly can. We're not going to find everything, show you guys everything. There's just not enough time to do a two hour video of every single car. Um, we try to pick out some pros and cons of each vehicle and display it for you on YouTube and on our website. With that being said, we encourage all of our buyers to come here in person. We are in Daytona Beach. There's plenty to do here, whether you just fly in and out same day, which we have plenty of people do, or you make a two or three day trip out of her, or maybe even a week long trip to come down in the summer months. Daytona Beach, well, year round is a beautiful place to visit, but especially in the summer, there's a lot of great restaurants, a lot of great activities going on, a lot of things to do on the beach, a lot of different things to rent, things to go see, golf courses. Daytona Speedway, the beach, all kinds of fun stuff. So come on down or come on up if you're from Southern Florida and uh, check us out here in Daytona Beach. Yes, we do offer financing on this car if you're not a cash buyer. Uh, we own all of our cars as I stated earlier and we offer financing on every car in our showroom. Uh, the collector car lenders will generally do 10% down of the purchase price with approved credit and a remaining balance over five, seven, 10 years. Depends on your debt to income ratio, credit score, price of the car, things of that nature. Without further ado, let's lower this car down just a tad. And before we take it on the road, I'll show you guys a couple more things I think you ought to know. Okay, let's look at this car down low. If you are a classic car collector or enthusiast or you've purchased or sold classic cars in the past, you probably know that if you're going to have uh, any kind of paint issues or maybe structural issues, it's going to be uh, low where you take a lot of road debris. And the car is you know exposed more than the top and the trunk and the, the roof but um, on this particular car I want you to just look down low here the paint quality uh, behind the driver's side front tire there is exceptional the door itself you can see there's no paint blisters no cracking door fits nice to the front and rear quarters if you look down the side anytime you hear somebody asking or referring to well is this car straight um, they're referring to when you're looking down the side of the car. Are you seeing any waves in the doors and the fenders? Um, door fitment to the front and rear quarters. Again, another problem where uh, classic cars you kind of run into them over the years is underneath the doors. Uh, you can see this one's of exceptional quality. Uh, again, the carpeting on the bottom of the door there is all newer. Door sill here. No rust or rot there. Uh, the door seals are in great condition. You can get a nice look low down underneath the dash, down at the bottom of the seats there, all real, real nice. Again, take a look at the carpeting quality, the, the vinyl quality, it's just steering wheel quality, it's just an exceptional car, it really is. Again, the door fits nice and tight. Check out behind the rear tire there. No blisters, no cracks. Bottom of the fender. I'm sorry, <laughs> bottom of the bumper. No uh, pinning of the chrome, no rust. License plate, flip it down. You obviously have your uh, filler neck. Battery shut off, on off. It's all built in for you, so you don't have to worry about disconnecting the battery. It's already there. Take a look down the passenger side of the car. Again, real straight, no paint blisters, cracking. Either behind or in front of the passenger side rear tire. Door condition underneath is gonna be the same on the passenger side as on the driver's side. Again, take a look at the weather stripping. The door sill. See the interior lights working down there? You got your lights down low. We had the battery disconnect on earlier in the showroom when we did the presentation, so those did not come on when we opened the door, but the courtesy lights in the car do work. You have your Pentastar down low, but what you do not have down low here behind the driver's side front wheel is 
paint, blistering, cracking, spider webbing in front or behind the wheel. Really nice car. Um, very impressive so far. So let's finish the presentation with the test drive. That's the uh, best part of this car and we're going to do that right now. Inside of our 1965 Dodge Hemi Cornet, nothing says American racing and American muscle more than racing safety belts. Take the Velcro off here. That'll release your hook, flap, hook through, locked. Uh, let's see, so many things to point out on this car. So, you have an electric fan down here, okay? There is a fan off the motor, but there's also an electric fan. We're not going to use that today. That's if you're, you know, you got a big motor underneath the hood of this car. So, if you get stuck in traffic, kick on the electric fan for extra cooling. The other switch you see down here is for the exhaust cutouts. Okay? The switches you see down here, this car has line lock on it. One is for the line lock. The other one is for the reverse lights. They both have red indicators that work. When the red indicator's on, the line lock's on. Trans temp. Battery voltage. Temperature. Oil. All working. Horn. Works. Auto meter RPM gauge works. Gas gauge works. You have another temperature gauge and another alternator gauge. I don't know if those are accurate or not, or if they work. That's why you have your externals. Turn signal on the driver's side is functioning. Turn signal on the passenger side is functioning. Uh, which one of these is for wipers? Probably the one that says wiper. Low. They're variable. Now when you turn them off, they park back down. AM radio. Works if you can find an AM station. No, it was working. Restrictions in some states. Limiting how many shoppers can be in stores, and there are reports of smaller. Uh, let's see. Lower motor, let's see if that works. That is working. I know you guys probably can't hear that, but it's working. Awesome car. Check out the condition of the dash. I mean, it's just. What a nice car this is. Don't sleep on this one. So before we take off, manual shift drive body on this car, okay? So, brake, B and M shifter, pull up, reverse. Whoop, I just shifted. Drive, okay? It's gonna be one, two, three, one, two, three. So we'll kind of show you guys that as we are driving. Line locks release on the front of the shifter. The line lock I mentioned earlier is to turn the line lock on and off so you can't accidentally bump that. Let's take it out on a drive and have some fun. Listen, hear that? Nice and quiet. For a car with this much power, it's nice and quiet when you're riding down the road. It's only loud when you want it to be. You can make it loud on and off as you need to. But Great response in the steering wheel. No vibrations whatsoever in the drivetrain. No noises in the interior. The car runs smooth. It's got a real nice sound, real nice stance. Great color. Great condition. Just a heck of a nice car. I'm going to come up to a traffic light here and we're going to downshift and I'm going to show you guys how that's working in this car. Okay, so now we're going to downshift. That's 
one downshift. I'm going to take it around the corner here see if I can give it some gas. and we had a little bit of fun today. I don't own a fast car for a good reason. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. Today you will be able to see at least 80 photos of this car, if not more, plus our crazy test drive video presentation that we just did for you right now. At full retail price, we offer a 12,000 mile, 12 month powertrain warranty, covers engine, transmission, and rear end. We also offer shipping in the lower 48 United States at full retail price. All of the prices on our cars are negotiable. If we negotiate the price of the car, we also negotiate the price of the shipping and the cost of the warranty. We would love to earn your business. Again, I can't stress to you uh, how much fun this car is and what an exceptional quality car this is. All you Mopar collectors out there, this would be a great car to add to your collection. So if you're a repeat customer, call me. If you're a first time customer, give us a call. We'd love to uh, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. Hangsters.com. Daytona Beach, Florida.